I can look past most flaws. Emotionally distant? Okay. Slight drinking problem? Fine. Kill the man once due to circumstances you can't talk about? Whatever. But saying I seen instead of I saw is just something I won't tolerate. Has anyone seen my bike? I swear I locked it on the bike rack right before I went inside. Conspicuously bike-shaped throat, Jack. Mm, no, no, no bikes I've I've seen around here lately, and certainly none that looked mighty appetizing. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> it tasted like metal. Suppose you marry a widow who already has a grown-up daughter, and your father marries the widow's grown-up daughter. Now the widow's daughter becomes your mother, since your mother's mother is your wife, and your wife is also your grandmother. As the husband of your grandmother, you become your own grandpa. Ah, oh, so that's how Fry did it. Brah, what do you do if seven human-sized cockroaches came into your house at 3am to clear your whole house, do the laundry and dishes, give you a haircut, one million dollars in new clothes and shoes, they then tuck you into bed and give you a kiss on the forehead. If this is suspiciously specific, upvote this comment. Yeah, it, uh, mama, it's happened, but they didn't give me the money, they, they just said they would. How important do you have to be to have assassinated instead of murdered? That is a good question. If the motivation is political, then it's assassination. Otherwise, it's murder. You cannot be assassinated by accident. If a jilted ex murders the prince of Placeland, it's just a murder. If a jilted ex is also a member of a rival political faction, it may be assassination. If a jilted ex is ha driving home in tears and accidentally runs over the prince of Placeland in the middle of the night in a neighborhood where the streetlights are out because of the prince's questionable infrastructure policy, it's manslaughter. Thanks, murder side of Tumblr. I miss you and your furry overrunning yif section. Girl in sweats. I'm a girl and I don't need expensive gifts to make me happy. I just want pizza. I love food. Sorry, I know I'm weird. Girls wear makeup and I'm just in sweatpants and messy hair like, oh my god, right now girls are partying and I'm home with a good book getting stabbed. 911 on operator. Uh, okay, D do you want me to send them? Nah, I'm home in my sweatpants getting stabbed. Other girls will want to be the police, but not me. When I found out they had fired Rachel, I just had to start going back here again, which I will do every chance I get. Anyone who is smart enough to fire Rachel most definitely deserves my money. My prior experience here were ruined by Rachel, but now that she's gone, I think I'm going to be bringing my very large family here for all major holidays. I'm not sure if they cater, but I'm going to recommend that my employer check it out. Hope the door didn't hit Rachel on the way out, cause gosh diggity darn do I hate her. LOL, you sipping from your little water bottle? Okay dude, haha, <laughs> enjoy your Wawa bottle, ha <laughs> baby! When I get thirsty, I get my wife to turn on the hose and I stand six feet back and snap at the jet of water like a dog, like... I wonder if my teeth clacking was picked up by the mic. If an old dude ever gives you advice while peeling an apple with a pocket knife and eating pieces right off the blade, you should probably take it. Here's my light bulb that's controlled by my voice. That's my little robot that hovers the floor. This is my watch that measures every aspect of health and gives me daily reports. Here's the brush full of human poop that we have just leave behind the toilet and never talk about. Ah, the poop brush. Wife. Strained relationship card. It won't fix it, but it'll draw another line in the sand. Locked out of your apartment because your friend dropped your keys in a storm drain even though you specifically told them to empty their pockets for attempting that cartwheel? Wait for the locksmith at Denny's. We're open 24 hours a day. Short girls are annoying, especially ones that aggressively stalk your boyfriend and ruin your relationship and get pregnant with your partner of 8 years. Not a fan at all. Neither am I, dude. That's why I like giant women who are 10 feet tall who can crush me. Seriously though, any 10 foot baddies? Like, hit my line. In the Toy Story movies, Andy's mom never remarries. This is a subtle nod to how Andy and his mom were better off without a stepdad. Just like how my mom and I are better off without Trevor. Stop dating my mom, Trevor, you stupid dick! You took my Woody away! My brother used to think that a man sat under the escalators and operated them. He also thought that man's name was James and that was his real dad, not our dad. So every time we passed the escalators at the mall, my brother would scream at our dad, You're not my real dad! James is my real dad! What the, what the hell is your family life? Living in the age of the internet where an account with the username BrianFelt1989 is 100% a spam bot dedicated to harvesting porn and personal data, but BoobsMelker420 is a sign of a breathing human life who just posts updates about their homes and garden. I am that BoobsMelker420. Imagine getting in a cab, blacked out, trying to make it home, and you wake up with $3,000 in your pocket. You panic because you don't know how you got the money. Ten months later, you're watching TV and see your drunk butt getting in the back of the cash cab and nailing all the questions. This actually did happen to uh, somebody. Say something nice about the UK! All the places I've ever been that served potatoes with Chinese food, it was the rainiest. My favorite thing is the meat Kenyan video. It was like, DON'T WORRY, MOMMY! 
I, I, that, that's my idea of England now. Would a human body kept around 60 degrees Fahrenheit be able to decay in soil with the lack of worms and the only insects being maggots and some fun guy? Yeah, totally, definitely. What? No, I've never done that. <laughs> what? Nah. If you're laid up with your girl in a 41 to 135 degree room and she starts multiplying rapidly, that snitch is a foodborne pathogen. Stay woke, homie. Stay woke! When you're playing Skyrim and your drunk mate comes out as bisexual and proposes a three-way to you and your girlfriend. Alright, sounds like fun. Um, is your wiener going in my butt? Because that's my only stipulation that it does. What if you were having sex with your wife and randomly just for maybe one sixtieth of a second, she looked like Melvin Brother of the Joker? Yeah, that's weird. You're really gorgeous. I would dead butt fight three mountain lions in a McDonald's handicapped bathroom stall with my hands tied behind my back and my only weapon is a shake weight glued to my forehead just to get a chance to get to know you and take you out. I would love this if it was proper grammar. Husband, babies, I'll make dinner tonight if you go get the ingredients, make the side, season the meat, bring it to me outside, and then help me find my tongue spatula. I'll grill and you can relax. How would you hide the body of a 165 pound, 70 year, 8 year old white male who is approximately 6 feet tall? I cut it up into pieces, feed it to my dog, and then take my dog on a walk in the forest. Guys, I'm in the deep crap. My mom said I'm not allowed to eat pickles in my room anymore, but she wasn't home, so I had them on the shelf by my bed, and my cat knocked the door over. How do I clean this? She's home in two hours. You eat the pickles and drink the juice, and then say you pissed it. My grandpa's always like, in my day, the only puss in boots we had was Trentfoot. And that's why I keep stealing his bills. <laughs> if for the wise, wise wisdom. If a woman is walking in front of you alone at night, what do you do to let her know you're not going to try anything? If this stuff doesn't happen too much for you, do you have advice? These situations happen all the time, and women suddenly look backwards at me and quickly look forward and walk faster. I feel like crap when this happens. How can I prove I'm a good guy? I don't want to bludgeon anyone and eat them and tickle their severed feet or anything. Most people don't want to do that. What can I do? I mean, I do want to do that, but I wouldn't do that. The best dynamic for a group of characters, every single one of them is the weirdest person you'll ever meet, but in wildly different ways. Every time you think you've identified the normal one, they catch reveal that they don't think birds exist, or they fist fight grizzly bears on the weekends, and they collect human skulls, and you realize again that none of these people are remotely normal. Also, they found your family. It is me, Heavy. Hey, yo, it's me, Scout, over here. I don't know the rest of their voices, but one of them has a German accent. Did your high school take drunk driving so seriously they staged a a biannual car accident with actual students so you had to watch at least one of your friends die while one kid had to go to fake court and feel what it was like to listen to parents of people they killed or are you normal? They were so bad that they got the, the drama club president who was the daughter of the guy who ran the drama club and for like an hour she's like, oh my god, Ryan! 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 And we're just chuckling our ass off because she would not shut up the entire hour. She's like, Ryan! Just trying to steal the show of a staged car accident. And she said I'd never make it as an actor. Frick you, man! I, I'm in a couple commercials. Me, regularly. Uses the same three things at home. Me packing for vacation. I wonder if I'll need the four French horns or five. Some of y'all have never gone to make a happy birthday card and thought, I don't need to trace it. I know how big letters should be. And begun with a big butt H, followed by a big butt A, and oh no, oh god, okay, alright, real skinny P, with a high hump, and then we'll put the second P below the hump of the first P, sort of like a Mokosilis sidecar, and now you have no room for the Y, so you do a kind of curly up noodly Y block letter, and cursive look good together, and then you go to write birthday. And you totally forget the lesson you lear just learned with happy you're like yeah but the past is the past big butt b surely more letters will fit in the same space and it really shows yeah i've done that a lot of times actually oh god i always murder this name so i got a trick for it pangolios are cute because they always look like they're about to hesitantly present some bad news to you their sovereign lord pardon me sire my liege for my the prisoners they've well they've escaped See, you can't tell I pronounce it wrong if I used an overly thick, made-up accent. Capitalism gets a lot of crap for being evil and not enough for being sad. Seeing a sweaty, bald manager try to fire up a sales team of dead-eyed guys in cheap suits with a PowerPoint presentation that includes Anchorman clips and quotes from golfers changes you. Yes, it does. I need someone who knows how to make grilled cheese sandwiches to help me play a joke on some squirrels. Meet me at noon Saturday at Kit's Underground Wine and Spirits, and we'll go to the park to wait for a squirrel to bury a nut. Then, when the squirrel isn't looking, we'll replace the nut with a sandwich that'll blow its mind. Doug, Doug.
dog, I like you, but you seem like a psychopath. Well, definitely the coolest part about Twitter is the fact you can say something creative and get a thousand likes, and then some nerd will screenshot it and post it on Reddit and get 40k upvotes, thus getting more internet points than you. Or you know someone uh, steals your art and uh, tries to badly crop out the watermark that you make as a tattoo for the character, and then they get like a thousand likes and your post gets 200. Yeah. If I was a sickly little peasant boy designated by the aristocracy to carry messages back and forth for pennies, and you found me against the city's outer wall with a deep wound in my chest from a musket ball, and a letter clutched in my hand, and I told you that my dying wish was to have someone read that letter to me, so I know I died for something important, and you open it up and you find a single large illustration diagram of an onion, would you tell me what it was? What would you say? My friend, it's something very important. <laughs> it has layers and makes you cry. My god, is it a love letter? Of sorts. To onions. What? Uh, I... He died knowing the truth. Me waking up at 6 p.m. with my charger around my neck, my phone at 2%, not even remembering how I even fell asleep, my hair looking like I've had a fight with a squirrel, dehydrated, and my mom mad at me. I do this on the daily, bro. 50 years ago, if you wanted to see a picture of Raccoon, you either had to already have it or drive to a library and Raccoon in a funny hat? Ha, huh, forget about that. Thank God for the internet. Your phone when you say you want to buy something. Sometimes I don't even say it. I just think about a product and it pops up. What are you doing there, iPhone? Reading my mind? When you're at your boss's for dinner and your steak is too rare, so when he's not looking, you throw it out the window, but the window isn't open. Whoa, dude, flying steak. You must have a haunted house, boss, man. Weird. Wanted someone to climb into this hole in the library for us. Job requirements. Limber, trusting, has not read The Cask of Antetidello by Edgar Allan Poe. Well, I can't even pronounce it, so you know I haven't read it. Been I'm looking through the comments and see a 5'4 Asian with an hourglass shape, a wolf cut, perfect eyeliner, black mask, glasses combo, friendship now, is wearing a crop top and low-rise jeans with a baggy jacket and converse comment L post, and he replies, Shut that F up, that's why you're short. Hypothetically, let's say I have been making a mutant creature in my basement and it escaped. What are the legal consequences? So, let's hypothetically... I, I, I used to live in a small town in rural Montana and had a laboratory, let's say, uh, hypothetically, I was trying to crossbreed chimpanzees and chicken DNA. And just maybe in my hypothetical scenario, let's say it might have got out into the wild and evolved to reproduce asexually, and it started to feed on humans. Now let's also say hypothetically, of course, it's bulletproof and has a healing factor and can only be killed with fire. Even more hypothetically, let's say the FBI has shut down and is not letting any traffic or media coverage in this part of Montana and is doing everything they can to figure out what is going on. What would be the hypothetical legal consequence of this? I'm sorry. No, sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it would evolve and become a human. That's not that funny, and just kind of makes YouTube videos, man. Ooh, ah, shut up, me. Dating people IRL always turns into a game of how much furry crap can I talk about before they either admit they're a furry or accuse me of being a furry. Yes, yes, it is. Imagine a crab coming out of the sea, pressuring you to kiss a girl you just met two days ago in June, a Jamaican accent. Hey, ma I can't do Jamaican accent. Hello, why don't you kiss her, Mr. Ariel? Crikey, Steve Irwin busts through the door and wrestles me into a headlock. This little bugger simulates reproduction up to five times a day, almost exclusively without a mite. Quite the interesting character. I'm gonna take my thumb and shove it up his butt. That's a South Park and a Steve Irwin reference. What are some real but crazy facts that could save a life? Hmm, when facing Mongolian horse archers, your best tactic is to fence specifically Tatsesero formation, substituting for long spear over the normal short to hold back a potential charge with crossbow and rank. Crossbows will need to be notched to ranges that can be called out from the oncoming angle. Upper shields will lift a gap to allow firing of bolts and then close to reload. Extra padding should be added to the shields in case of flammable liquids being thrown or fired on formation. Thanks. Danny Hall people, how how do you have sex with your significant other while sleeping on a pull-out bed on the living room floor while your two kids are sleeping six feet away in the loft? We send them outside in the winter. 4.05 p.m. POV, it's cold October Sunday. You're standing five inches away from the screen after your favorite team just got spanked 42 to 14 after telling the guys hours before that this season is going to be different. You all lost all three prelays for the 1 p.m. games. Your phone's on D&D because they're giving you hell in the group chat and you have an assignment due at 11.59. I hate TikTok for being so specific. Any girl that likes Hello Kitty will cheat on you and steal all your money and frick your best friend and then lie to your face about it even though you have proof. Hello Kitty's a case, mate. <laughs>